Michael, a pretty big decision. Was it, was it easy? Uh, yeah, I mean, these, are, these things always have a process. But for me, I wanted to continue playing my rugby here for as long as possible and keep um, you know, the dream alive of playing, playing for the Wallabies and playing for my state here at New South Wales. So, um, you know, wh why these things always take some working through. Um, the decision was always pretty at the forefront of my mind to be able to stay here. And, you know, I'm very thankful for rugby um, Australia and, and Michael and, and the people for, for, you know, getting this process done. Is it a matter of loyalty as well? I guess that's what it comes down to too? Uh, yeah, I mean, look, for me, I wanted to help contribute to this team as much as possible. I wanted to be a part of this, um, this jersey for as long as possible. And I, I see so much potential here, um, you know, for, for the game and for the players we have, you know, in coming through in the Wallabies. We've got so much excitement and just being on camp this week at Cessnock um, has proven that again and again. The fact there's so many young players and I want to try and play with as many of them as possible. That's basically locking you in for the next two World Cups. That's got to be a good feeling. Yeah, well, I've got such fond memories of the last one, you know, um, and just missed out on the New Zealand World Cup. So um, the potential to play two more is fantastic. I just, I guess I've got to keep my, keep my game up, um, you know, and, and get a part of those teams because they're fantastic times and I've got such fond memories of 2015, you know, that uh, getting a few more would be, would be nice. Speaking about those youngest, younger players, does that sort of keep you on your toes as, a, as an older head and a senior player, you know, the fact that they've got them nipping at your heels to sort of, you know, perform at your best? Yeah, without doubt. I mean, it's pressure, firstly, to be able to get these guys to reach their potential. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, the, the speed's going up every year. Um, the excitement level's going up every year. Um, the music's changing in the change room every year. So, um, <laughs> you know, like, um, it, it's fantastic to, to be a part of and, you know, continue that for years to come. Mate, have you got your eyes on George Regan's test record? <laughs> no, I don't. It's, uh, I mean... They're not something, you, it's not something that I've, I've looked at. You, you are so week to week in this game, you know, and I guess I've been out for a while now, so that's more, more um, you know, at the forefront for me than ever. You don't want to miss games. I missed, uh, you know, five there with the Waratahs. Um, at the end of the pointy end of the season, I don't want to miss one for the Wallabies. So that's, that's what I'm thinking about, just getting on the field, getting that first one back and then going from there. It's realistic, though, that you could get there in the five years or the test by narrowing in. It is, I tell you what's amazing, the fact that he managed to rack up that number um, with the amount of games that he played back in the day, you know, it's a testament to the player that he was, um, the ability to stay on the field and play at such a consistent level, you know, um, probably silly not to talk to him and, and ask her how he did it, you know. How's your hammy, man? Hammy's good, yeah. hammy's good, so Cessnock was a really good week for me, back into uh, full training with the team. Um, which was really pleasing, you know. Uh, it is it is a process. You, I've never been in the situation where you're back on the training field and you you've got something holding you back a bit. So, you know, that was sort of probably last week, and then this week, you know, you start to feel a bit better. You creep a bit closer and um, finish the team run yesterday, feeling like no, this is feeling good. You know, I'm feeling confident. Yeah, I'm looking that way. Yeah. I'd hope so, yeah. I mean, it's such, like I say, it's about getting the talent that we have reaching its potential. And if we do that, then, um, you know, who knows where it'll take us. But I think it's be pretty high up there, you know. So um, wanting to be a part of that and uh, excited about it. What sort of conversations did you have with Czech as well? How closely did you sort of speak with him throughout making this decision? Yeah, I spoke about it, um, particularly at the start of the year, of, of how it could look. Um, you know, it's obviously had a great relationship with Michael uh, for a long time now and he's always been very honest with with me and um, you know how I'm going as a player developing as a player and you know as a leader within the team so you know the it was really nice to be able to sit down just me and him have a co coffee and talk about um, you know what the next couple of years could look like and and the options in there. What kind of statement do you think you're making about the future of Australian rugby in signing such a long deal? Um, well, I mean, the long deals aren't uncommon, you know, in other sports. I think they're, they're pretty common. AFL, rugby league, they're fairly common. I think maybe we're just starting to look that it's, a, you know, it's a really op an option for us. Um, you know, and for me, like I said, I, I think the statement I would make is there's a lot, lot to play for here. There's a lot to be excited about, not only at, su um, you know, Wallaby level, but at super level. Um, you know, we get that right and yeah, had some outstanding, um, you know, um, 
focus on that Ireland series. Had some great club games, you know, playing down at Brookie, um, you know, in front of my home home crowd was was an amazing feeling for me. I look around, and I go, geez, I don't want to play anywhere else. You know, um, love playing here. I love um, seeing kids excited wearing the Wallaby jersey down. Um, you know, after a good Test match or something like that, like that brings a smile to my face. So, um, you know, like I want to try and extend that as long as possible. Yeah, I told I told that to the other two yesterday. I put the heat on them, so <laughs> they got to sort themselves out uh, now. But look, um, it's it's everyone's you know um, make their own mind up. Um, but look, if they're out there and, and people are willing to do it, then yeah, fantastic, great. You can lock it in. You can build a future. You can start looking at how we can develop players going forward, not only as you know skill set wise, but at leadership wise. So by the time it's coming to the end, they're handing on this wealth of knowledge to, to the next group coming through. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Hi. Yeah. Alright. Yep. Yeah. Alright. It's a pretty exciting day for Australian rugby considering Mark Luke's signings. Yeah, yeah, it's a great commitment, I think, from um, uh, from Michael. He's done a great job, um, really. Look at the, if you look at it, he's played eight, over 80 tests, he's 26 years of age. He's right on this, that, that's our average age right now, that squad that went up to Cessnock last week, he's, he's 26 on the money. And uh, I think he's a great representative of the team and may have a commitment um, from him through to uh, for the next five. I think says a lot about what he thinks about the current squad because uh, there's some great young talent in there. And he, he obviously wants to be in and around it. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy. And I know we, we talked about it yesterday at training. We told the other lads they were pretty happy about it. They, uh, they gave him a bit of grief as well, as teams tend to do when things like this happen as well. And, um, no, really, really pleasing, I think. Very pleasing. Is it that sort of commitment that rugby union really needs at this stage? You know, comparing if you look at other codes like rugby league, AFL, is it that sort of commitment to show other players that, you know, exactly what Hooper was saying, you can get it done here and there is potential? Yeah, look, it's interesting nowadays in the in the modern world with uh, um, player managers, and you know they're all trying to do short deal and get this and get the next thing. And it's not for everyone. I, I'm not going to say it's for everyone. You know, I don't think it's for everyone. But I think that there's there's um, there's a growing commitment inside of our team and the players in and around, not just the guys who'll go out next weekend. I think there's a a wider group of players and even a group of a bunch of players now in Super Rugby that um, understand that it's up to us to get Australian rugby going in the right direction on the field and uh, and they want to make the commitments and uh, Mike was led from the front here to, to do so and I feel that that's that's happening. Does this open the door for a bit more big signings like this in the future? Oh, the door's always open. I think we, we've talked about longer term signings with several players over the years, but often they're, they're not encouraged to do them, you know. So um, I think we, we'll pick, we'll try to pick the targets, and it will be interesting to see if guys come to us and say, oh, I want to stay longer, you know. I think there's, a lot of it's in the players' court as well, too, you know. But I think um, we talked about it over a period of time with Michael, and he was really open to the idea. I think he's, he's growing into a great captain. Um, for the team. Uh, he started being captain at a very young age, so he's got a lot of life experience as captain in the team. That's only going to serve him well going um, going into the next years, not just these, you know, this year and next year, but beyond. And I think that's going to be a real advantage so we can leave a leadership legacy for the next crew that are coming in after us. Just on that week in Cessnock, from all reports, it was very positive and you know, preparations went well? Yeah, it was very good. Um, <clears throat> there was a really good... Uh, attitude towards the training. Uh, everyone knows the big challenge that we've got ahead of us, but uh, they're really looking forward to it. Like I know that's used a lot these days, but genuinely you can feel it inside of the... Uh, I think <clears throat> um, you feel it when good things happen at training or there's good quality or high impact. Um, you know, 
maybe in the past there's been hooting and hollering and all that type of stuff, but here it's about getting back on to the next thing and getting back to the next moment because um, we've got to stay in that space um, to be able to compete with the with the Kiwis and uh, and I saw a lot of that up there and yeah I was really pleased. It's going to be tough. Like I've got to cut that group down um, into a smaller group to uh, to go on into next week and that's proven to be tough. You're still going with 28. Um, there's a bit of um, a hot topic of debate over over the other side of the ditch about Richie Moanga versus um, Bowden Barrett. Do you care to give us your take on, on that selection debate? Oh, well, it doesn't really concern me, I suppose, but uh, what I do know is this, um, that Bowden Barrett has been the best player in world rugby for the last two years in a row, and he's an exceptional player. I've been in teams, I've coached teams that have felt his wrath personally right and his his skill and ability and uh, there's no doubting that Mwanga is is a class player as well I, and a good young fellow I happened to run into him um, we were on I was on holiday with my kids over in Fiji and he was there with a couple of other players so I got to meet him he's a lovely young fella and uh, but Barrett's class and I, I and I think that there's um, no doubt he's he's a player that the All Blacks value very much and that he'll be out there on next Saturday. Steve Hansen says uh, Wallabies are favourites. <laughs> Is that uh, <laughs> I was waiting for that question. Well? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I've, I've got to admit I was a little bit surprised. Uh, like, Hansen's a, a fine coach, you know what I mean? He's obviously a great rugby mind, you know what I mean? He's, he's le leading the team that's the best in the world, so he's a, he's a great coach, but uh, I think he may have had that one wrong because I, uh, I don't think many of his players would believe it, to be honest. So... Look, you know, it's pretty irrelevant at the end of the day. It's for the bookies, so um, match day I'll start. But, yeah, I was a bit surprised when you said it. But that mental battle is important, though. I mean, why else do you guys go on about that stuff in public? Or other coaches? Well, I'm not going on about no, it in no, public. No, <laughs> so he, he brings it up for a reason. So do you think there's a, a, an agenda there? Oh, no, I don't think so. That, I don't think that there's, you know, sometimes they, you say stuff and you go, Maybe I shouldn't have said that or whatever, I don't know, you know, like I don't think it's a big deal, that's not like they're going on about it, you know. Um, is, is it about putting the pressure on the Warriors? I mean, I don't think it's very realistic, you know, so I think, like I said, I don't think his own blokes would believe it, so I, maybe that's what that's why they didn't say it again after the presser, I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, and how, how else are you feeling about the, the arrival of the All Blacks? It's always a it's always a game that Australians and Kiwis get up for. Is everyone excited inside the camp? Yeah, <laughs> this is uh, it's you know every Test match is huge, right? But obviously you know the the playing against New Zealand, you know because of their status and the game and you know our proximity as neighbours and the battles that have gone on in the past, um, we we just. Uh, we just want to stay focused, you know, on what we want to do. Just know um, what what we can bring to the contest and believe in that, like believe as well. And that'll bring energy that will help us on game night because that's what you need, you know, you know, full full focus when you get out there, work hard. Uh, all, all those what I think many people consider cliches, but they're real, it's real time. There's no magic formula it's about belief you know uh, hard work stay humble right focus and then you know that'll bring the energy on game night that our players need to bring together to um to to do what's necessary to get the job done is that a little bit of insight into your pre-game chat before the boys run out no it'll be a lot louder <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty quiet in here i don't know you know i never know what i'm going to say on match day so uh sometimes it, it, it depends on how you see the team. I mean, their approach, but I've, yeah, I've I've seen everyone in a pretty good headspace around um, what's necessary, what what we need to do, the sacrifices that we need to make, and um, to get uh, to get what we want on match night.
Well, look at me, there we are. Look at me. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. That's it. Can I make this <laughs> So, um, you know, it's about reaching our potential and making it, um, you know, so desirable to be here and be playing rugby. Because, um, you know, just as much as us players each year and is always willing to learn, I think he's, um, you know, the right man for the job.